Good morning, guys. Welcome to uh, what is it? Day nine of uh, the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge. I'll apologise. Uh, this is sort of a chunk update for the past five days. So today being day nine, um, doing day four, five, six. No, it's a few days, um, and I apologise greatly. Um, I've been really busy doing a lot that I just over overlooked the whole video thing but I can guarantee you that I have been doing my uh, minimum of 30 minutes a day um, I know I said I tried to do an hour but I've been really busy uh, trying to scramble trying to find work um, scramble the family doing some family events the weekend uh, is always a big you know very family orientated for me spending time uh, with my wife and daughter and family and friends and uh, also just like I said, scrambling for work or doing client work that's come through. So, I just haven't really prioritised doing the video, but have been very conscious about, okay, I still need to at least do my 30 minutes a day. And I have, and I'm very happy to say that uh, as of this point, uh, I only have one page left of thumbnails to do. So, uh, it was sort of a slow slog, just only doing like 30 minutes, I only sort of managed like a page and a half-ish on average. Um, a day, but got into it this morning to double check before I decided to, well, I had to leave for work, said, okay, hang on, well, where am I at? Obviously, I was doing my heart for 30 minutes, and I just did a quick overlook, I'm like, okay, so I've done page, um, weirdly, I've done page 20, but I haven't finished page 19, so I need to finish page 19, which I'm probably going to do tonight, just as a, just to round it all off, I'll feel really good if I can round everything off by the end of today. And then tomorrow morning, I can just jump into uh, studying the pencils, which are really good. But I'm going to, um, at the very end of this video, I'll post a whole bunch of uh, pictures of the pages so you guys can see it, so you can see that I'm not fibbing, that I actually do do the 30 minutes. Um, but this has sort of led me to think maybe this is also worth me just doing the video once a week rather than once a, a day. Um, I love doing the daily updates and it's really nice to get everyone's feedback but maybe if I just sort of focus on just doing some filming because I was out on the weekend um, you know we did some really cool events we went to this really nice event at the Barrett Gardens um, which was very kid orientated but it was fun I've never been to the Barrett Gardens and it was just such a beautiful place I was like oh I should really film it and um, in my head I was like oh well I'm probably not going to have time to do anything with it so um, I just sort of didn't do it trying to think now maybe I should start doing little snippets put it together like a weekly vlog like I used to do um, and then do it that way and then we'll just do the chunks um, maybe even just sort of doing like a restart of the 100 days I'll delete the old video I'm, nah that's probably too I don't know I just feel like it should be a proper series rather than just um, you know going from a few videos to then chunk videos or you know weekly videos um, so maybe I will, maybe I'll do it so it sort of runs like a proper series. Um, it'll be the 100 days. Or, um, oh, I might even do the math and might even be... So, what's that? Just trying to think. It's roughly 13 weeks? No, it's more than that. 15 or 16 weeks. Um, well, it doesn't sound as cool, the 16-week challenge composed compared to, like, the 100-day challenge. So... Maybe I'll do like the 100 day challenge, week one, week two, week three, and then finalize it off. Um, so maybe I'll do that, and this might be a good launching point, because I'm, tomorrow I'll be starting the pencil, so I can be like, hey, I'm starting this. Um, which kind of makes this video redundant, but I'll upload this just as like a prelude thing, and then you'll be like, oh, now I understand what he's talking about, because that was really confusing. Um, now I'm just rambling, talking to you through ideas in my head, but that'll make life a lot easier for me if I'm just doing one weekly video and then just stitching everything together as well. Um, it was getting a bit tiresome trying to upload everything and then into my Dropbox to then move it onto my iPad to do all the editing. And the iPad's um, a little bit time consuming. So if I was doing everything together in one thing in like a Sunday afternoon, it's probably more manageable for me. Uh, so it'll be a couple more hours, but it'll be just that chunk rather than an hour every night which equates to seven hours roughly of quick you know some, some I do edit some I just like to upload but I would like to do nicer range of videos so I think I might do that so, 
So, this wasn't originally my plan, I've just been talking about it, and this all sounds really good. Uh, so, I suppose I'm saying that as of tomorrow, I'm going to be redoing, restarting the 100 days, um, not counting the past nine days that I've been working on the comic, uh, and starting from the point of pencils, and then going from there, and then I'll just do some filming. Um, and there was also some stuff that people wanted to talk about uh, in regards to the... Um, some of the work that was on my iPad. I know Marshall wanted to have a closer look, so maybe, and I'll target some things like that in there as well, just to make it more of a, uh, a vlog. So I might even retitle it. I'll, in the video, I'll talk about how it's the 100 day challenge, but as the video itself, I might target it, um, just call it like, you know, the um, making comics vlog, week one, week two, etc. Um, and that might be cooler. To, you know, just a little, be a little bit more generic, but um, still incorporating with the challenge. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. So there you go. There is a quick insight into the way that my mind works. Uh, it's uh, rare. I think, I remember saying, I've said this a long time ago, doing these videos really helped me because I tend to um, talk out my ideas more. And uh, even though it's sort of a one-way conversation with myself, I... Um, it gives me that opportunity to sort of spitball ideas and then sort of go back and forth. Um, that's like I actually really miss working in an office. Like working at home, it's just me and I'm not really having conversations with myself. So maybe I should just put the camera in front of me and just talk like I'm doing a vlog and then go, oh, okay, that's, that's where I want to go. Because, um, yeah, when it's just me and I'm just sort of cornered into my own little hole and I just do the work that I'm doing. Um, so... I see a staleness, I see um, a lack of original ideas, or a lack of um, creativity, that sort of thing, and it takes me a while to sort of snap out of it sometimes, but anyway, uh, so we'll, while I'm doing this quick update, um, obviously I'm going to be uploading this anyway, um, just want you guys to know that, uh, because I have been busy, one of the things I've been really busy working on is uh, ink, so Inking's one of those things I've always loved. I've always been uh, very well complimented on my inking work when I do any, well, you know, most of my um, my work. And it's not very often that I tend to or get the opportunity to ink over other people's work. So I just took it upon myself to Google, uh, you know, pencil art. Obviously, found my way onto DeviantArt as one of the first links. Excuse me, I'm just going to have my sip of coffee here. And I... Uh, found some really nice work by Joey Vasquez. He's an artist I've followed for a while. I don't know why his came up first. It was just sort of what I found. Um, and then a friend of mine suggested uh, Ed McGuinness. He does some amazing, amazing pencil work. Really, really tight. So I downloaded a bunch of those. Uh, most of them were pinups, but I do have a couple of comic pages. And I've also got some comic pages of a friend of mine who's allowed me to uh, take those as some samples as well. I'm going to be doing those throughout the next weeks, um, but I'm uploading a lot of that stuff, and I'm going to be uploading a lot of my ink work on Monkey Junk as well, because I really want to showcase that I can do comics, and I want to showcase that I can ink comics, and I can ink comics well, because I'd really like to make an effort of being far more targeted um, as a comic inker over just a comic artist, so uh, pencils probably aren't my strong point, although I love drawing, I love penciling my own comics, um, and that works for what I do, um, for someone else it probably doesn't fit in. But I want to prove that I'm not that cartoony all the time. And if you want me to ink your comic or, um, you know, had considered hiring me and then saw my work, like, oh, I'm probably not going to fit in because he does really cartoony stuff. So, oh, no, he can, you know, he's got quite an array of different style uh, inking, um, with different styles of artwork, and it you know, fits within all of them. So hopefully I can portray that to show people that I have those abilities. And that's kind of the hardest thing is, Generally, people will hire you based on what they see, um, but what they see isn't always what you're capable of. It's very uh, difficult to do both. And it's like you almost don't want to put up too much because it can be overwhelming and they don't look through everything anyway. So hopefully DeviantArt uh, will be a really good place for me to focus more primarily on my inking work, and hopefully it'll allow me to find some work. So look, as an art, you know, for any artists out there who are looking for comic book inkers, please feel free to hit me up. Um, I do have some rates, and I'm very curious on people's um, thoughts on the rates too, because uh, I'm going to be charging $90 Australian, 
uh, which probably works out roughly sixty to seventy dollars US uh, per page. Uh, and I got that figure just doing. Uh, so if I was working for thirty dollars an hour, it would take me approximately three hours to complete. So that's where I got that figure from. Um, and I had a look online. Um, some people say it can be a range between sixty dollars to two hundred dollars. And I think I can, you know, given my skills, um, I actually think I want to charge more. But because I'm just moving into it, um, I need to just knock it back a bit and make it a little bit more affordable. And it can be quite costly. So for someone who's doing a 20-page comic, $90 per page, and that works out to be so $3,600, I think. No. Probably close. Hang on, no. $1,800. I don't know where I got 3600 from. So $1,800. So it'll be 900 for 10 pages. Yeah. That's me, my math. That's how good I am at math. So, yeah. That's what I've been focusing on really heavily. Uh, also, I've been doing some logo designs for a couple of companies. I'm also, I've got a meeting this week to look at doing, um, running some social media, um, designing content and helping them um, grow their online following uh, for a company that I'm doing some logo designs for. Uh, so they've been doing it a little bit, but they're looking at actually hiring someone more dedicated, um, someone who can do their graphic design for them and then, sort of hand over and then they take care of the rest during the week um, and then looking at further um, you know marketing materials so um, possibly YouTube doing newsletters doing Twitter etc and integrated all of that to build their following so I've got a meeting with them I've got to do a little I've got a really good understanding of what I want to do but I've got to do a bit, of, bit more research to go this is what I can offer you you know based on what I've seen others do this is what I can offer you and that's going to be a great opportunity for me to build my portfolio as well because most of my social media marketing is targeted specifically for what I do, uh, which is quite obvious when you go to my website and look at it. Um, so you can see on my Insta all the Instagram posts that I put up are all targeted to me, and um, probably not super professional, but you know that's some of the work that I've done to boost my following. So it'd be nice to have something that's not related to me, and I can be doing some more work for these guys to um, not only help them build their business. For me to get paid, but to also build my folio and do something a little bit different and show that I'm capable of doing um, all of these different things. So, very awkward right now. Um, I'm stuck in, I'm not stuck in traffic. I'm at the red light, and right next to me, um, thankfully just pushed a little bit further across, is a uh, police car. So, I doubt they realise I'm probably doing a vlog right now, but there you go. Just eyes on the road and just keep talking. I probably just look like I'm on hand free, so. Anyone who's watching me probably just looks like I'm on my hands free or something like that anyway. So that's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing. Um, that's sort of the end of, I suppose, this prelude vlog to the making comics vlog, which will begin. Um, so in a week's time, um, I'll, I'll continue on. I'll just do these next few days. Um, so day one starting tomorrow on Wednesday. And then Sunday, I should be doing the vlogs. Uh, then I'll stitch everything together and have them up on Sundays for you, which I think will be Saturday or Sunday morning for most of my like um, international viewers. Uh, but for all my Aussie friends, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully, that'll be a bit nicer for you as well. You get like a bit more of a chunk rather than these sort of 10, 15 minute videos. It'll be more to 30 minutes to an hour, and you can just sort of listen. There'll be a bit of everything. You can sort of listen, you can watch, uh, and I'll just put it together nicely. All right. I'll leave you alone. I'm going to get to work now. I'm um, working in the comic shop. And then tonight, um, like I said, I'm going to be finishing um, page 20. And I'll leave it there. And then I've got to do some D&D &D prep. I've got two D&D &D games this week. So I'll do some uh, vlogging of that as well, which will be really cool. And I can sort of incorporate that into my video. And you guys can sort of see what the parties are like and what my setup is. And you know, I've been doing some maps and stuff for that as well. So that's also sort of um, been taking a bit of time. And now I'm stuck at the train. That is just great. <laughs> right. uh, it's probably the best time to stop now because now all I can hear is beeping. All right, guys, I'll catch you all next week for the first vlog. Uh, the first Making Comics vlog featuring me, this guy, Chris McQuinlan. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your understanding. Uh, if you understand. If you don't, well, bugger ya. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Bye.